I was the Celtic Tiger, now I need a pint of stout. I got in debt above my head and the banks won't bail me out. The show has reached its climax, the tiger is extinct. I'm unemployed and homeless and I really need a drink. The rot began on Wall Street and spread with lightning speed. The globalised financial world was mesmerised by greed. The brokers had the perfect plan, they'd get money from the East. And with this borrowed money, the West would have a feast. They started making profits beyond their wildest dreams. There was no one there to regulate their scams and bonus schemes. The commodity was real estate. Anyone could get a loan. Just sign above the dotted line for a place to call your own. But there's no romance in high finance, so repayments must be met. You'll end up living on the street if you cannot pay your debts. Politicians took the plaudits when the good times came, but when the cracks began to show, they refused to share the blame. They failed to take precautions if the building boom collapsed. With no contingency plan in place, they sat back and relaxed. The Bertie boy had been accused of bribery and deception. The voters looked the other way and he won the next election. Deals were made behind the scenes with knowing nods and winks. The elite could feel their wallets bulge as the waiters served them drinks. There were JCBs on building sites everywhere you went. The fields and bogs of Ireland were rezoned in fresh cement. Invest in bricks and mortar all aboard the gravy train. It's a lifetime opportunity. The chance won't come again. The middle class were happy. They had euros to invest in. They bought summer homes on sunny beach and flats in Budapest. There were shopping sprees to London, Paris and New York. The latest styles were flaunted from Dublin down to Cork. Ostentatious politicians and business trips abroad claimed such huge expenses it was tantamount to fraud. The Minister of Culture in a chauffeured limousine took the wife to Cheltenham to brush shoulders with the Queen. The bankers and the builders, so eager to expand, fail to see the danger when supply exceeds demand. A basic rule of commerce was suspiciously ignored. Whose future were they building for? How much debt could we afford? Loans were looking suspect, but worse was yet to come. When layman brothers bit to dust, there was nowhere left to run. Catastrophe was imminent. Banks were going bust. The financial world was traumatised. There was no one left to trust. Reckless loans had been exposed. All credit was suspended. The markets took a nosedive and the feast abruptly ended. Although the bankers gambled and lost this borrowed cash, the conmen got a refund and the workers got the lash. The dole queue's getting longer, social welfare's being cut. The poor are left to foot the bill and the country's belly up. The boys and girls are leaving, although they'd rather stay. The country cannot feed them, so they have to go away. Fianna Fáil is still in power, democracy's in doubt. The Greens connive to keep them in, but the people want them out. <laughs>